let's talk about frequency and relative frequency tables. They're very, very similar, but there is a difference between the two. <clears throat> Notice here we have frequency, and then we also, in just a second here, are going to talk about relative frequency and what is the difference. So let me give you an example. When we collect categorical data, let's keep in mind that in this section we're looking at categorical data. We can put them into piles or counts. And that's why we can create, or that's that's why we would want to create a frequency distribute or a frequency table. Sometimes these are called frequency distributions. So sometimes sometimes frequency tables and frequency distributions pretty much mean the same thing. Okay? So let's say I was going to collect eye color. I do a survey of my classes and I ask them just very basic, what is their eye color? Blue, brown, green, or other? And remember this is categorical data. And we find out that there are 20 people that have blue eyes, there are 45 people that have brown eyes, and there are 15 that have green eyes or other. And since I just counted how many had blue eyes, counted how many had brown, and counted how many had green, and I piled them together. The book talks about piles. There's a blue pile, a brown pile, a green or other pile, and there's their frequency. Very, very basic. Okay? So this right here would be considered a frequency distribution or a frequency table. <clears throat> now what if we want to talk about relative frequency? What's the difference? Well, basically all we have to do is take the frequencies that we had and change them into percents. That's what relative frequencies are. So we had a total of 20 plus 45 plus 15, and that is 20 plus 45 is 65, 65 plus 15 is going to give us 80. So there's our total. And now I want to turn these frequencies into relative frequencies. So for the blue eyes, I have 20 out of 80. And we should know that 20 out of 80 gives us 25 or 0.25. So we could write this as 0.25 or we could write it as 25%. Either way is okay. Now let's go to the brown eyes. So for brown eyes, we had 45 out of 80. And 45 out of 80 gives us 0 .5625. 0 .5625. So we could write it as 0.5625. But up here, I'm going to go ahead and put it in as a percent. And this percent would be 56.25%. And finally, we've got green or other. And for our green eyes, we had 15 out of 80. And 15 out of 80 gives us 0.1875, which is 18.75%. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this 0.25 up here, move this one over so that we have percents in each case. All right? That's the difference between frequency distributions and relative frequency distributions. Frequency is just the counts, and relative frequency are the percents.